Stay tuned for urban legends to ghostly tales of the paranormal because now it's time for Message on the Wall. This is Message on the Wall and the Doctor's Collection. Now some people collect stamps, postcards, books, mugs, plates or some other everyday item. But Dr. John Kilner had a more unusual collection for he collected skulls. Each of these grisly relics was lovingly taken care of by being polished and set on display in an ebony box kept in the doctor's home. Now there was one skull the doctor prized among all others, but he didn't have the pleasure of it being in his collection. The skull in question, along with its skeleton, was used for training students at the West Sussex Hospital and came with a story that fascinated the doctor. The skeleton belonged to a murderer, 23-year-old William Corder, who was found guilty of killing a Maria Martin in what became known as the Red Barn Murder. He was hanged at Bury St Edmunds in 1828 and as was often the case, his body was handed over for medical purposes. Dr Kilner could do no more than admire the skull as he worked with it in teaching his students. But finally the doctor could resist no longer and detaching the skull from the skeleton, he took it home where he set it in pride of place among the rest of his collection. However, it wasn't long before Dr Kilner found that theft doesn't pay, as that very night, and every night thereafter, sobbing would be heard. There was also moans, and those in the house often felt a breath close to them, accompanied by gurgling and wheezing. When the doctor saw a disembodied hand float towards the display cabinet, smashing the glass where the skull was on display, he had finally had enough, and to appease the spirit, gave the skull a Christian burial, which seemed to work as the ghostly activity ceased as quickly as it had begun. You have been listening to Message on the Wall, brought to you in association with Paranormal Parodies. You can find Paranormal Parodies at paranormal-parodies.com.